Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is no, October 27th, Sunday, um, around 12 p.m. And we're back doing our comic book readings. And what we're going to read today is sort of a, I guess, a Halloween special. Uh, we're three, four days away from Halloween, but it's a good time to do a comic book reading on a sunday uh not too much construction noise outside well hopefully no construction noise outside and um, we can just enjoy the reading and there's one thing that i've loved in my life is uh, reading comic books on sundays and just chilling relaxing so it's really nice to do these things and um, what i've done here is i've pulled out the House of Secrets and House of Mystery comic books um, that we ended up buying in the last uh, few weeks. And here's the spreadsheet that, uh, you know, lists all the comics that we ended up buying, right? And all of these are basically horror comic books, a lot of Neil Adams covers, Bernie Wrightson artwork. We have some, uh, I believe, Barry Windsor Smith, Wally Wood. Oh, no, actually, no, no Barry Windsor Smith. There might be, but we've got Wally Wood. Um, we got Sergio Aragones doing some of the, you know, one page, two page, uh, sort of mad style comic books. Uh, so fantastic haul. The total cost of this haul was basically $340, right? And, uh, because it was a local pickup, there was no shipping costs and, you know, 16 bucks in taxes, um, for that. And what we're going to do, we're going to read let me let me find it for you we're going to read house of secrets number 20 okay house of secrets number 20 and let me bring out the specs for you guys um ch -ch 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 -ch. there we go i'm gonna bring this screen over here that way i can see it and tell you what house of secrets and before we do that well i'll flip through so basically it cost us what grade was it it was graded at good very good and it's listed as the first appearance it's the 20 20 dollars and 50 cent one it's like the one two three four five six the seventh one up from the bottom okay the seventh one up from the bottom it's over here i'll bring my finger smaller so you see it, that one there okay and it says it's the first appearance of abel but it's the first cover appearance of Abel, and it's the second appearance of Abel, from what I understand. Okay, and um, basically, let's flip through some of the some of the books that we ended up buying. And here, let me split this up. So we got a lot of House of House of Mystery, but we ended up getting a handful of House of Secrets as well, right? And I showed you guys these covers, and some of these were, uh, you know fine fine very fine even very fine and the very fine comics for these uh they're quite expensive um i think the most we paid was around 40 bucks for one of these guys these are house of mystery just beautiful covers okay these are the 100 page giants amazing value uh for the money right amazing value for the money so house of mystery 227 and whatnot this one we ended up picking for a dollar which was a crazy buy crazy buy okay and then we got the house of mysteries here right we'll just flip through them speedy gonzalez so you get a feel for what it is we're about to read sort of the feel of the books right dc horror comics beautiful stuff this is like beautiful beautiful cover right like super cool rights and cover by the way right very nice very nice very nice very nice this one 
this one I really love. I was gonna, um, it was a, it was a sort of a split. I was either gonna read this one or um, the first cover appearance of Abel, uh, but I decided to go with uh, um, House of Secrets number eighty one instead of House of Mystery number uh, two o nine. And this one was graded as very fine, and we paid a hefty sum for this. I think this one cost us forty dollars or so. Let me bring out the spreadsheet. Let's check this out. 209 209 where are we where are we bum ba -da -dum, bum 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 yeah this one cost us forty dollars it's up here Doop. that one right there right very fine bernie writes in cover right uh very good deal because high grade of these books uh fetches a hefty sum Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice, nice. Almost glove burning time, yeah. I've actually been thinking about getting uh, some gloves. And then uh, these are the House of Secrets that we ended up picking up, right? Again, beautiful books. Rights and cover, very nice. I believe this is a rights and cover. House of Secrets number 93. Right? Look at that. I think this is Neil Adams' cover. House of Secrets 91. Neil Adams' cover. House of Secrets number 90. Leave Neil Adams as well. House of Secrets number 89. And House of Secrets number 81. And this is a Neil Adams cover as well. And this is the one we're going to read. First cover appearance of Abel. And it's the origin of House of Secrets story. Okay. Origin House of Secrets story. So let me put these guys over here. Okay, let's set this up. And the glare will go away as soon as we pull it out of the, the bag. And let me give you the lowdown on this comic. We ended up paying $20.50 Canadian for this. Graded at good, very good. They listed as first appearance of Abel, okay? But it's not the first appearance of Abel. If you go to my comic shop, Okay. Oops. Come on. Oh, here we go. Let me do this. So my comic shop even says it's the first ap appearance of Abel. But then when you go into the contacts, are, I'm going to give you guys the links to this. Hold on. Let me provide the link. Cheryl, how are you doing? There's the link on Twitch. Let me give you the link on SensorTube as well. Doink. And let me give the link on Rumble as well. Provide the link there. Okay. So if you go into and my comic shop, if I was in the States, I would probably buy some books from my comic shop. But I'm in Canada and it's the shipping and everything is expensive and coming through customs is just insane, right? But for the description, if you go into the con contents area, for uh, the four page story house of secrets there's a note that they've added there and the note says the following first appearance of abel in the house of secrets title abel first appeared in dc special number four which has a date of july september 1969 beating this issue by one month okay so the first appearance of abel happens one month 
prior to this in DC special number four. Okay. But this is the first cover appearance of Abel. And let me put the tape away. Take it out of the bag so we don't get the glare. And the cover is by Neil Adams. There is three stories in this, plus you know one pagers and whatnot. Um, the the first story is "Don't Move It." The script is by Mike Fr uh, Frederick, and pencils by Jerry Grandetti, and inks by George Russo. Okay, and it's the origin of the House of Secrets which is very cool when I bought this I didn't realize it was the origin of House of Secrets and then the second story is called the House of Secrets and we see Abel in that the script is Bill Drut okay. and again it's the first Abel in House of Secrets Still getting a fair bit of glare and the third story in this is called Aaron Phillips photo finish script by Jerry Conway or Gary Conway and the art by Jack Sparling okay. September 1969 by DC Comics now race your hot wheels on the supercharger race set nice boom boom there's one of these things where you could crank it and the car would just go when i was a kid i used to have one of these things something like this anyway so gang let's take a look at the fine print I love these ad pages eh win $1,000 college scholarship all oh, the goodies look at all that stuff working whole train <laughs> It's a whole train, gang. It's a whole train. It's a whole train. <laughs> Hilarious. Gas powered Ryan PT twenty. That's like first drones. Eh? Drone technology. How far we have come. Gang, okay. let's read the fine print for this house of secrets number 81 august september 1969 published by monthly by national periodical publications inc second and dicky street sparta illinois 62286 editorial exclusive offices 909 third avenue New York, New York, 10022. Joe Orlando, editor. Carmen Infantino, editorial director. Second class postage entry pending at Sparta, Illinois. No publications. No publications. For advertising. No number publication. No publication. For advertising rates, address Richard. A. Felden and Company, 41 East, 42nd Street, New York, New York, 10017. Copyright, National Periodical Publication Incorporated, 
1969, all rights reserved under the International and Pan American Copyright Convention. The stories, characters, and incidents mentioned in this magazine are entirely fictional. No actual persons, living or dead, are intended or should be inferred. And then it's got this thing written here. This periodical may not be sold except by authorized dealers and is sold subject to the conditions that it shall not be sold or distributed with any part of its cover or markings removed, nor is a uh, mutilated condition, nor in a mutilated condition, nor affixed to, nor as part of any advertising, literary or pictorial uh, matter whatsoever printed in the USA. Right. One of the things with this thing, with no cover, uh, with this cover missing, what uh, the publications used to do, because these used to go to newsstands, right? And whatever copies they didn't sell, what they had to do is tear off the cover and send it to the publisher or distributor and they would get a refund for it. So you can buy these comic books without the covers on, you know, very reasonable price uh, relative to when the price for them uh, with the covers because all of those would have been, uh, they were supposed to destroy them, but they, you know, obviously didn't destroy them all. And they would either sell them for real cheap or not, right? So gang, let's read this. The first story, this is called Don't Move. And the script is by Mike Frederick. And it's the origin of the House of Secrets. Pencils by Jerry Grandetti and inks by George Russo. Sinister silence swept over the still Kentucky hills. Business was slow along the lovely highway, but then an enormous shape hovered over the horizon. State line, clump, clump, clump. Then began to move closer, clump. and and closer grinding inexorably inexorably forward clump woke up the postman is that the postman or the gas station attendant gas station attendant clump 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 Until clump clump. Oh, the guy's scared, runs away, clump clump. Yeah, what's going on? Who are these two guys? Let's focus this thing. Phew! Did you see that guy? I told you, you got some kind of monster back there. But it's your business what you do. I just move him. It'll, co it'll cost me a mint, but it'll sure be worth it, the guy says. They were almost out of the hills when it began, and my warning echoed through the new owner's mind. Don't move it. Oh, they're moving a house with a tractor. Let's see if we can get this thing focused.
Home Transport Inc. Home Transport Inc. There we go. Home Transport Inc. There's the tractor. That agent was right. Listen to that. It's starting already. Hold up a minute, driver. I'm going to take a look inside. Curve, state line. They're trying to get it to the state line. E, 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 screeching sound. Look at the road they came through. Windy. Sure thing, Mr. Barkas. But what's happening? I don't hear a thing. Anyway, shouldn't be much much bother we're just about to take our last hill and from there it's easy sailing to the state line Look at that. they're moving the house of secrets She's sure a real find. They don't build houses like this anymore. Funny, I don't hear that maniacal screeching now. Strange. Must have been these creaks I heard. Creak. He ventured. He ventured, ventured inside anyway. Just as creaking, just as a creaking chandelier gave in, gave way crash Whoa. oh I knew this place was old but I sure didn't think it'll fall apart this fast better watch it then Bar Barkus moved cautiously by a large fireplace and it crumbled behind them Blam. I'm going to check out that strange room on the second floor. There's something weird happening here, and I got a suspicion. He's going up the stairs. The dark corridor lied, uh, led to a padlocked door. Just like before, can't open it. When I get this house settled, I'm going to bust into this room, even if I have to smash the door down. Better get back to the tractor. Continue with the second page following. Ghostly glow power striking. Strikes. The monsters are back. Just for Halloween. As they begin their ascent on the final looming Kentucky hill, Barkas told the mover, uh, mover on my, told the mover of my warning. It seems that a Senator Sansfield of Kentucky built this house with his, with his bare hands. Not a single material was used in construction that wasn't pure Kentuckian, not a single nail. He swore that no one would step into this house that wasn't pure Ken Kentucky folk. Four owners after him didn't last more than three months. Each family had someone that wasn't pure Kentucky. Kentucky stock. North state line. A lot of secrets are tied up in that house. The senator's wife went mad. And there's that lock room north the state line naturally the real estate agent thought it was insanity for me to try and transport the house to another state isn't that wild the guy says T tell you the truth mr barkas i don't think i don't think the looks of this monster 
I don't like the looks of this monster. That agent guy may, may be, may have been right. Frighteningly near to the top of a final hill, they stop to check their r rigging. When the screeching sound again, don't you hear that? Uh, what? No, don't hear a thing, Mr. Barkus. Oh, I guess the owner of the house is hearing it. The mover is not. Barkus had to uh, investigate. To him, it sounded like the screams of an hyst hysterical woman cutting clearly through the gloom. Screak. He's gone in there again. going on here suddenly snaking from the shadows whack Ooh. it's getting nailed The thing wrapped itself around him like black electric tape reaching for his throat. Desperately, Barca struggled. Oh, what's going on? Only to go crashing through a window. Ugh. Smash. What the, Mr. Barcus? There's a driver right there. The mover. A drape. It was just a drape. But how did it move to grab me? I can't wait. I'm going to check that room out now. Still trying to get to the room. The guy's not scared. dashing madly back to the tractor he found what he believed would do the job a gun nothing's going to stop me now i'll get into that room hey what you doing with that the mover asks that scream again eee. as the piercing sound creased barkus fired away blank bam still won't won't open something eerie going on I'm getting out of here he drops the gun starts running with a scream spawned from my fear Barkus frantically jumped out of the house oblivious to everything but the terror within his soul yay -yo. he's out of there Let's see. Let's see that jump. Look at the mover. Whoa. He's gone mad running down the road. There he goes. He's out of there. That's a gigantic house. Mr. Barkus. Mr. Barkus. Is he chasing him? He's chasing him. Mr. Barkus. Mr. Barkus. Ah. 
almost human-like screams echoed wildly through the house as the drapes flap madly in the still air. Wap, wap. Smoke puffed from the chimney. The, the house is shaking again. Better check the rigging. Creak. And the house began to move. Hey, it it's rolling. Clump, clump, clump. With the human-like determination, the Senator Sandfield house clumped slowly down the road towards the stumbling figure of Mr. Barkas, watch out! Oh, look at it, it looks like eyes chasing him. Clump, clump, clump. What, what? He says, what, what? Look at that. It's after me. Clump, clump, clump. Once more, the sound of hysterical laughter screamed from the rolling house. Clump, clump. <laughs> an expression expression of diabolical anger crossed his face its eyes lit up in frenzy it panted men, men, menach, menach, menacingly as it rolled towards Barkas and the cliff beyond <laughs> the tractor's way back there now there's Mr. Barkas. Ah, he's running. Ha ha ha. He ha. He ha. Clump. Hey. Mr. Barkas is scared. You would be too if a house was chasing you. It finally halted at the very edge of the treacherous cliff, only too late for Mr. Barkas. Oh my God, he went over the cliff. Oh, he jumped. Ay, look at that. Kentucky haunted house, house of secrets. What does that say? State line. And the state line is still 200 yards away. Ah. The house killed Mr. Barkas. That was the end of the first story. Then that's the origin of the House of Secrets. This right here. Where, where'd it go? This right here is the origin of House of Secrets. Senator Sandfield built the house. Even the nails were built in Kentucky. Parasades Amusement Park, New Jersey, half a mile south of George Washington Bridge. 
Batman Superman invite you to get your free coupon here. Admit one to Parasades Amusement Park. Admission free parking worth dollar ten. Except holidays until seven PM. Good morn. Good Monday. Wednesdays and Fridays. All DC comics in May through October have the free coupon. People cut these out and go to an amusement park. Good deal. You buy it for 15 cents. Right? <laughs> Look, I was like, Batman. What's this one? Calling members of the Mighty Patro Eye Patrol. Oh, this is the bike. Oh, check this out. That, that bike right there. We saw it here. There it is. Look at that. Cool. Three speed super sports flare bike. Sell only nine orders. That's the same one. Yeah, looks like the same one. Right. Cool. The second story. House of Secrets. So this is the second story from House of Secrets, number 81, from September 1969. Okay. Script by Bill Drut. And it's the first able appearance in this story in House of Secrets and one month following the first appearance of Abel in DC special number four. Quiet peace night begins to shroud the scene in its comforting folds and yet all is not over. All is not yet over for the House of Secrets. Well, that's the story, Mr. Abel. There's the house up ahead. Kentucky State Line. Curve. This is it. Sure you still want to accept the job, Mr. Abel? Uh, yes, yes, I think I can handle it. Caretaking runs in the family, you know. My brother, Mr. Abel, I'm just, I'm not the least bit interested in your family tree and neither, I'm sure, is our anonymous employer. Anonymous? Then you don't know who he is either of course not i got an unsigned letter instructing me to buy the house and surrounding lands i'm as much in the dark as you house of secrets It's so quiet, like a tomb. It might well be. There are many things about this house only hinted at. Like that room on the second floor. Remember, you're never to enter that room. Never. Uh, what have you got in here? Bricks? No. No. Books, stories are a hobby of mine, you might say. Yeah, I know, it runs in the family. Oh, what's that shadow above? Looks like a silhouette of a person, maybe. Is that all horns on him? Look at that. Yeah, there is. 
Yes, look at that. There are 42 rooms in this house. You're responsible for all of them, except, of course, for the one on the second floor. Quiet, Goldie. Not now. What? Eh? Did you say something, Mr. Abel? And then Abel says, Quiet, Goldie. Not now. What? Oh, no. Nothing. Hee <laughs> hee just talking to myself yeah well in a place like this he says hey did did you hear i i hello abel i yeah ah oh, look at this it's cane it's cane hope I didn't frighten you little brother Cain you frightened me no no not at all sure Abel who were you talking to when I came in don't tell me you still talk to that imag imaginary friend of yours Goldie no that was the re that was a re real <laughs> realty agent who brought me here see what real realty agent what do you mean what realty agent that one over there <laughs> oh. uh, Kane Kane look at him look at him oh what's this <laughs> Kane, look. <laughs> Still laughter. Look at what, little brother? Just laughter into the night. Oh, who's that person in the cemetery? <laughs> he he became part of the house. He 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 was always a part of the house. What are you raving about, brother Abel? Cain asks. Don't you see? Didn't you see what happened? I saw nothing except you turn into a quivering coward, but then you always were a milk milk sop. No, no, I saw it happen, I saw it. And I'm not a milk sop, Cain. I'm not a coward. All right, little brother. If you're not, prove me wrong. Burn this house text story. Oh, we gotta read this down here. I skipped it. I got into the text. All right, little brother. If you're not, prove me wrong. I will. I'll show you up, Kane. A story. That's how. Do you remember how we used to try to scare each other as kids with stories? Well, I'll tell a, tell a story that'll chill even your cold heart. A coward, am I? Ha 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 ha. So that's how it begins. 
the storyteller. Cain and Abel. Interesting. Got to look into when the first appearance of Cain was. I wonder if this is the story. Burn this house. The old house stood empty and desolate in the center of town for 150 years. Various members of the Brimshaw family had lived in it. Then in 1947, Olney Brimshaw died, leaving several wills, greedy relatives, and two decades of litigation, preventing all of them from selling the place. Here we go. Let's check this out. Here's the story. This is the third story in the House of Secrets number 81. Okay. From September 1969. And I guess the first story being narrated by Abel right the script for this by gary conway and the art by jack sparling twilight's shadows play tricks with his eyes softening softening dangers and sharpening fantasies for one jason willis as it lights from a car. Jason Willis, occupation, vice president, president in charge of research for a major business firm. He's just a name, a faceless name to the man called Aaron Phillips, a commodity to be bought and sold, but he's also the prelude to Aaron Phillips photo finish. Who, who are you? Why did you call me out here to meet? What's going on? There's Abel telling the story. Cool. It's like the Crypt Keeper. Right. In EC Comics. What? What? No. Click. Beautiful panel. No, oh, I took a picture. Very, very nice, Mr. Willis. You and the guy beside you make a good picture. A very good picture. Who? What? What guy? Wait, I recognize him. Yep, that's Ace Carl Carton, one of the highest paid corporation spies in the business, Mr. Willis. And I'm a humble freelance photographer at your service. Name's Aaron Phillips. Now, what, what, a, what, a, what am I bid for this fine picture? Ladies and gentlemen, do I hear 4,000? Oh, blackmail it is. Ah, the miracle of a poor Polaroid. A simple 60 seconds and give me that picture, he says. Ah, naughty, naughty, Mr. Willis. The price just went up. 5,000, Mr. Willis. Smack. You're crazy. I haven't got that kind of money. Oh, that's a pity, Mr. Willis. A real awful pity. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure there are plenty of other people who would pay to see this picture in print. Plenty of others.
wait, wait, you can't do this. You can't. You ruin me. Destroy everything. Why? Why do you want to kill me? For, for the love of, please, my entire career ruined. 20 years, 20 years. My God, my God, please. He's chasing after the car. These are amazing panels. Look at that. Beautiful. Jack Sparling artwork. Very nice. One Alex Fox, occupation editor, avocation, hatred of man called Aaron Phillips. Why do you do? Why do you do it, Phillips? Does it give you some sort of sadistic pleasure to destroy people, to crush them like dolls? There's a bit of, there's a bit of the sad, sadist in all of us, Alex, old boy. Remember, you're the editor of this rag. I only submit the pictures. Scumbags. Which I buy, pay exorbitant sums for out of my own pocket because, because, because you have you have to dear Alex we all make mistakes your only misfortune was that I caught you at it so now there's a beautiful beautiful three by five glossy um, perched between you and your job and I hold it dear old Alex look at this mr. Phillips scummy guy Don't sneer at me, Phillips. One day you might just wake up to see your secure job, little balloon bursting. Secure little balloon bursting. When I do, you do, Alex, my forever friend. Now cut the gas and get on with the assignment. Who's this guy? Sandfield? Oh, that's the senator that built the House of Secrets. Senator Sandfield of Kentucky one of the old southern guards he's led the perfect public life almost too good to be true and there are rumors that it isn't rumors about a house his wife died in it a year ago after she went mad the senators on a fact-finding tour right now the house is empty no servants nobody got you chum i'll make the first plane out expenses paid of course who knows might take a little paid vacation there's the house of secrets he doesn't know what he's up for look at that later what's this guy saying that's funny Alex said the place would be deserted why all the lights maybe he's got stock in the light company who knows first things first I'll get a few exterior clips Bet the guy that designed this went nuts or something make a good human interest story got a feel about it 58 59 60 abracadabra and what the what is he seeing Huh, there's no house. What's going on?
Is that fear that makes your heart pound quicker, Aaron Phillips? Can it be that you've come come up to something that can make you afraid? But but that's impossible. I saw a picture of this place, held it in my hands. The camera must be something. The camera there must be something wrong with the camera. That's it. Boars creak beneath your feet, but this house isn't old enough to have creaking boars. Where is it? There's something about this place gives me the creeps. Creak. Why doesn't the lights lighted house comfort you, Aaron Phillips? Why does your heart still fear the cold grip of fear? feel the cold grip of fear empty like alex said it would be but why the lights why that sound the wind whoosh. look at the stairs all windy the door The lights, the wind, what's happening? Whoosh. What is that? The candle. I can feel the wind blowing around me, cold on my neck, like breathing, but this candle doesn't even flicker. Oh, you. What's wrong, Aaron? The lights bother you, didn't they? Or was it something else? The wrongness. What's wrong with me? I'm, I'm acting like a little kid, afraid of the dark. That room on the second floor, there's a light coming from under the door. Only drowning men grasp at straws, Aaron. Why are you? Must be a trick, a trap. Sure, that's it, a trap. Yeah, yeah. Alex, Alex hates me, wants to frame me like I framed him. Set me up, yeah, that's got to be it. Do even you have a conscience, Aaron? Is that what makes you afraid? He's coming out with the candle. What is it you fear, Aaron? Is it revenge? Is it the fear of vengeance from those you have destroyed? Or is it more basic, more primitive fear? The fear of the unknown. open on the second floor click it's like the flash of the camera crackling softly the fire burns low as night intrudes into the quiet house they never found him the senator died soon afterwards and the house changed hands again and again finally ending up here an interesting flight 
of the imagination, Brother Abel, but it's time I left. It's almost dawn. My place is just on the other side of the cemetery. Come over to see me some night around midnight. My head's still a bit sore from the last time we met Cain, but we'll see, Abel says. Hope you don't hold that against me, little brother. Accidents will happen, you know. Take care of yourself, brother. Brother Cain, good night. A flight of the imagination. Well, it might be to him, eh, Goldie? Even if he asks, how could I explain it? How could I know about this house? The things that happened. Can you tell me, Goldie? It's almost as if, as if a ghost whispered in my ear. Telling me secrets of this house. Taking me into its unknown, unseen confidence. A flight of the imagination. I wonder, Goldie. Sometimes there's more truth in fiction, Goldie, than imagination. How could, how could I have known? Can you tell me, Goldie? I can feel this house is bursting, exploding with secrets. Secrets it will reveal in, in its good time. And I can't help but feel that there are so many things it has to tell. And then, and then the house is silent for the moment. But if you listen closely enough to the creaking boards and the moaning wind, you can hear it shouting out its tales, the tales which to it are but memories but the silence but the silence will be broken again when the next issue of house of secrets reaches your new uh, neighborhood newsstand the end and the picture coming out from the crack of the door very cool very cool new matchbox king size models of the month two king size models that prove good things come in big packages too some of these things are very collectible the cast iron the uh, metal cars and stuff very cool very cool very nice beautiful read beautiful read really fantastic read gave us uh cain abel coming to his house and he lives across the street from a set not across the street but across the cemetery from cain and cain kills abel like on a daily basis or something like this right it's the origin of the house of secrets uh first cover and appearance of abel right and when Abel takes over the House of Secrets, very cool, very cool. And the House of Mystery, Cain, I believe. Right. Very cool, very cool. Amazing universe they've created. Amazing universe they created. Right. Yeah, let's bring tape. Let's tape this up. Now that we've read it. Fantastic, fantastic. Right. Here's the rest of the House of Secrets that we ended up buying. Right. In the last few weeks. And let's grab the House of Mysteries. Ah. 
Great haul, great haul. Very happy with these. Very happy with these. Very cool, very cool gang. I'm glad you, I hope anyway, that you enjoyed the reading. Very happy back to be back doing these comic book readings. And we'll definitely be doing more. Many, many, many more to come. Right?